Hey guys, it's MJ the Student Actuary and in this video I want to show you how to put your art onto the blockchain. So what you want to do is come to this website called Ascribe and you want to get your little profile, you know, register, do all that normal stuff. Uh, you can see I've already added one piece um, and I'm going to go through the process of adding another piece over here. So you just click on new work and then you come here and you bring your, your pictures. Um, I just need to find which one I want to add of my art. Um, yeah, let's add this one. So you then drag it over there and it will load. Although that one is 108 megabytes. That is probably going to take quite a while. Um, well, that has popped up there. Let me see if we can find a smaller one. Um, yeah, this one is 13 megabytes. Let's see if there's... Okay, this one's only 827 kilobytes. Okay, so let's just do this just for this video. Otherwise, we're going to wait forever. Um, apologies for that. Okay, so let's put up my little one of the minions. Um, artist name, you come in and you type in your name. Michael Jordan. Title. Uh, we call this the red minion. Uh, year created was in this one was back in 2015. Bit of a we want to specify editions, um, and you can choose how many editions you want to make of of each one. Um, let's say we want to make one edition of this one. Okay, and let's click register. So what it does now is. It creates this little, well, gives us our picture, gives us our title, um, gives us our name, the year it was created, um, ascribed by, that's my email address, so it knows that I was created by this. And what you can do is you can add in some notes, you can add in some details, um, and all this type of stuff over here. And what you want to do is, you want to now go back to, say, your collection, and it, it takes some time because now it's it's loading it onto onto the blockchain, which does take a little bit of time. But what will happen, and what I've done with this one, is once it's put onto the blockchain, you then have your certificate, um, which you can check out. It gives you a little QR code. Um, it gives you the, the history. So you can see I transferred this to, to my other email address, and then I transferred it back, and now that's ingrained in the blockchain. That history will ever forever be there. And people know that this is my art if it was registered by Bayman 1991. Um, you can come here, you can see the history. So every time somebody transfers or resells my art, I can actually track and see how, how it's doing. Um, then you've got all these like little Bitcoin and blockchain details. And this one I've actually printed on 1,000 by 1,000 uh, millimeters on Perspex. So when I go and sell it to the gallery or when I go sell it to somebody, I simply come here and I click transfer and I enter their email and put in my password that only I know and then we can transfer it to them. Then when they come to Ascribe and they come collections, they will actually see this piece will be here for them and they'll be able to come here and they will then be able to either transfer it or send it to somebody else and the owner's name will change to their name. So when somebody comes to say, sell my, my art piece, they can say, well, I wanna see the digital certificate, okay? Because the digital certificate will have this QR code, which they can go into and they can see this person's owner. And also what I'll do as an artist is, I will tell everybody that when you wanna buy my art, it is important that you also go through this blockchain process. So if somebody just goes and says, does a bad print copy of my artwork and tries to sell it, the new buyer can say, well, I want to see the verification on the blockchain. I want to see that your name is actually under owner. And I want to see that you actually have the ability to transfer this to me. And only once you've transferred it to me, then I'll be happy. And no one can just go and upload this image onto the blockchain and try and call it themselves. Because when you come to the ownership history, if it says registered by somebody else, then we know that it's a fake and it's not the original or authentic um, art piece by myself. 
So it is pretty cool. It's free to use at the moment. So log into this thing, upload your work. Um, like I say, it does take a little bit of time for, for it to be put onto the blockchain. So you just have to wait a bit. But once you've got it, you've got your little hashing address and, and all that cool stuff. But yeah, this is, this is a way to, to sell your art over the blockchain and make sure that nobody forges it or copies it um, or steals it in, in that type of way. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. And if you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Cheers, guys.